Hey fellas, how's it going? This is Strong K, and welcome to another of my first impression videos. Uh, today we're gonna look at Cognition, an Erica Reed thriller. Um, yeah, this game has been released by uh, Phoenix Online Studios. Um, those of you who are sort of familiar with the uh, indie point-and-click or indie adventure scene, uh, you know, will be familiar with this name also because uh, that's basically the same team. Uh, that has released a silver lining, the sort of, you know, unofficial sequel slash wrapping up of the uh, King's Quest uh, series, you know, after some, uh, yeah, to and fro, you know, with uh, the copyright holders of the King's Quest franchise, uh, Sierra, they managed to release this game, you know, for free, so this is downloadable actually. I just played the first part of that series. I, uh, however, uh, you know, have been thinking about doing a uh, yeah, it's free on that, so, you know, that may or may not come in the uh, not too distant future. But enough with this, let's uh, get started here with a new case. Um, and let's check out the intro, and I will shut up. Just hurry, John. I'm doing what I can. Did you call? Yes, I did. Drive faster. We'll save him, Erica. Wait for backup. Screw backup. They won't be here in time. We've got to find the cane killer before he hurts Scott. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, new message. Yeah, it's your dad. Um, I think this basically serves as a in-game hint system. So uh, I'm just going to exit here. And this is part of the tutorial. I'm just gonna basically explain what's going on here so you guys don't have to read this. Uh, you can, however, obviously. Um, unless I'm doing this. Uh, no, I'm not. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, like I said, I mean, uh, it's it's uh, pretty obvious that this is uh, sort of like a point and click adventure of the, you know, um, of the old variety, if you will. Uh, very, very traditional. It's a classic and um, like I said in the uh, video for uh, Secret Files 3, I actually am kind of fond of this genre, I have to say. Uh, although, you know, Secret Files 3 was not the best uh, of examples, um, so I'm really, you know... I was really uh, yeah, not that um, enthralled by this game, let's say. Um, so let's see what this has to offer here, the, uh, the Cognition series. Mount Auburn Cemetery. This is the place where that bastard told me Scott would be. He said to come alone, but John wouldn't let me. So yeah, this is pretty much straightforward. Uh, by clicking on those objects, we open a context menu in which, or uh, from which we can choose uh, the action that we want to um, execute here. So, you know, in this case we have a door. This is actually the open symbol. It took me quite a while to figure out what this actually represented, but if you can see here, this is sort of like a passageway and this is the door and this arrow, you know, sort of symbolizes that the door is swinging open, so... Um, that actually gave me a hard time. And obviously I don't read manuals, so, you know, screw I that. I open it with my hands and I don't have a key. Right, so, you know, this is sort of like, um, yeah, if you've played a point-and-click adventure, uh, I think you know where, where this is going. Um, so here we have our inventory, currently got a gun, a badge, and our phone. 
Um, if we click on our phone, we can use that, I think. No, wait. This is how it works. We first have to click on the eye icon, for example, to examine uh, stuff in our inventory. And if we do that with the phone, it activates the phone. Let's do that with the our FBI gun. FBI standard issue Glock 22. Right, so if we wanted to use that gun, click the hand. Oh, we just can use the phone. Okay, so everything that we actually can use is highlighted. I think that's also what it said in the tutorial. I, I honestly am not reading this. So, and you know, likewise, um, anything that can be combined within the inventory will also be lit up here. Unfortunately, you know, this is not the case with our objects at hand here, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, uh, one word about the phone. Okay, yeah, we can like. I don't have a reason to do that now. Do things here like web search, have a calendar. Um, this game is actually, uh, you know, rife with um, shameless advertisement. But that's okay. I mean, this is you know the silver lining, the thing that I talked about earlier, the sort of unofficial uh, King's Quest sequel. This is such a good game. Yeah, so, you know, clicking on that will take you to the, uh... No time to play, unfortunately. And I just downloaded episode 5. Right, uh, we'll take you to the website. Um, and yeah, this obviously takes, takes place in Boston, so... Just so you know. Okay. Um... So let's get this gate open. So, um... Well, let's click on John here, examine this guy. I but I can't wait until backup comes. Notice the lens flare, also here. Isn't that amazing? Lens flare, also here. Uh, yes, like graphically speaking, I I sort of like the game. I mean, it has some, um, you know, it sort of hiccups at times where you know some animations are not that fluent. Um, I think this is not going to be, or the parts that I'm going to show, uh, at least in those parts, I have not encountered any any uh, glitches. Um, but you never know. I don't have time right now. Okay, we don't have time to talk to him. Uh, but overall, you know, those like the, the three models have been cell shaded, uh, which fits with the uh, hand drawn background. Uh, you know, so I like I like this kind of style. I think that's a cool uh, decision. I'm not saying it's the best thing on earth, but uh, it definitely works here. Let's put it that way. Uh, so yeah, we got the gate here. Um, do we take a look the at gate it? Is secure with a padlock. I've got no key. No time to get one. Okay, let's open it. Why is this locked? The cemetery should still be open! They're about to close for the night. They must have locked this gate before some of the others. We can go around to the east entrance. No, we won't have time. Okay. So yeah, I think it's pretty obvious what we have to do here. I mean, um, this calls for an intervention with our Glock. I'm sure McAdams can't wait to hear what we're doing. I'll take the blame. Sure, that'll make it all better, especially since he took you off the case. My brother isn't there. I don't give a rat's ass what McAdams thinks. Right. Okay, yeah, and uh, this is also one of the things that I like about the game, and I think that really adds to the atmosphere that, you know, the game actually lets you do the thing. So now we have to aim for the padlock and then just pull the trigger. And you know, we will see this times and again in this game, so let's open this real quick. And I really like that. Um, okay, here we are, the cemetery. So yeah, and obviously if you haven't pieced that together yet, um, our brother has been kidnapped by a killer. Just uh, my, my intuition, I guess. Weird. Yeah, uh, and he's somewhere here, um, you know, on the on the premise. Um, so yeah, one thing, okay, walking and running, I think this is pretty standard, let's not, you know, harp on that. So, um, footprints. There's a trail here. These look like fresh footsteps. Uh, 
Okay, and there's a statue with a shovel. John, you want to take a look at this? What is it? The statue's hand. It's holding a shovel. Since when are angels grave diggers? Someone put it there. But why? Okay. Did the killer place a shovel here? Why? And again, this is sort of, um, you know, it's a point-and-click adventure, so it's pretty straightforward, so obviously I'll be spoiling some stuff while playing here, but I also want to explain to you, you know, the features of the game, so that is sort of, you know, unavoidable. Uh, it's cemented to the statue. I can't break it off with my bare hands. Okay, yeah, so that means obviously we'll have to find, like, some sort of item that we can use. Um... Any ideas? Oh, sorry, I just clicked this. Any ideas? Stay focused. They keep searching. I didn't I didn't mean to skip that really. Um, okay. So let's take a look at the mausoleum. What the hell? John. This is definitely the Kane killer's work. Okay. Only read blood. What the hell does that mean? This has got to be the place. Yeah, what could that mean, man? You think he's watching us? Are you kidding me? Question is, how exactly did he set this whole thing up? I don't know. I hope we're still in time. Hello? Open this goddamn door! Scott? Reed, you're gonna give us away? You think he doesn't know we're here already? I don't have time for these games. Yep, it's pretty sophisticated. And you know, uh, down there. There's something missing here. Let's take a look around. Okay. Yeah, this does not really bode well. What do you think these are for? Knowing the track record of this guy, nothing good. So yes, yeah, so you can more or less imagine what you know will be happening here. I'm not gonna you know do this extensively. Um, if you're really interested in doing that, I suggest uh, you know you pick this game up and find out for yourselves. Um, what I'm actually missing here, and I don't really know what's going on, is um, the uh, psychometry button, I should say. Uh, because our character here, Erica Reed, has a special gift, which is, you know, like she can do psychromatic readings, meaning that uh, whenever she's touching certain objects, she will know of their past, you know, which obviously will give you uh, a clue about, you know, what has been going on and, you know, how to solve certain puzzles. However, this item seems to be missing, or the, the, the icon, I should say, seem, she seems to be missing here. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, do you, it's like, remember when you saw this, like, yellowish, um, sort of, uh, scene when we entered, uh, like the, the this yellowish rendering of the whole Rayford and then this hooded figure, that was, you know, sort of uh, uh, a look into the past of this place. And, you know, you can do the same things with objects. Not here, though. Um, let me just pause the video real quick because I really want to show this off because this seems like an error and uh, I'll be back uh, in a second. Um, so, please excuse me. Okay, so I'm back, and um, I actually uh, took the opportunity to jump ahead a little in the game, um, you know, lest I spoil anything, but also because I don't want to bore you too much with, uh, you know, a rinse and repeat of what we've already learned. Um, actually, um, what I missed out on here was that I, or uh, I missed, or I um, did not, let's put it that way, look at the footprints, which will then, uh, you know, enable you to um, use the uh, use psychometry here. Uh, you know, which works as follows, so if you push this button, you enter sort of this mode, you know, and everything that you can Im uh, examine using your psychic powers will be, you know, highlighted in sort of like a bluish uh, way. So once you click on that, that will turn yellow, and then if you click on the eye again, um, you know, you'll get the vision, the vision corresponding to, um, the item at hand, really. Um, that is sort of clumsy. I mean, that's like one of the things that I uh, think the game could have done better. Um, also, with the um, 
this context menu there, uh, you know, if you click on stuff, then you have to select if you want to look at it, if you want to use it, open it, and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not, you know, that much of an annoyance, but it really... Uh, yeah, it, it seems a little old-fashioned. I mean, it's, it's you know, not a deal-breaker for sure. However, um, it seems sort of antiquated, let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, you know, and as you uh, as you saw, uh, we we just got the um, the vision, you know, that goes along. So the killer has been walking that way. Um, so let's head over here Please be to the ma mausoleum, really. What the hell, John? This is definitely the Kane killer's work. So you know, uh, story-wise, I really have to say that again, uh, the game does not, you know. Um, throw something brand new at you that you have never seen before in your life. Read blood. What the hell does that mean? This has got to be the place. So basically, you know, you play like a, a female investigator, um, in this case, uh, FBI agent. You know, you've seen this like kind of Nancy Drew stuff before. Um, there's a serial killer on the loose. I mean, not that that per se, you know, um, is something that that you'd encounter but you know this sort of like female heroine type of thing uh, this whole setting is actually uh, a staple of the point and click adventure at least you know in these days I mean if you look at games such as uh, I'm just gonna solve this I mean you can see this does not bode well at all this is gonna be some fucked up shit there's holes here we have to probably stand on this metal plate and the killer wants our uh, read blood um, so you know so let's com combine this those things really this must be the right piece. So yeah, again, I uh, jumped ahead here, so you know you can actually solve this for yourself if Erica, you're so inclined. should wait for backup. I, I may not have your intuition, but even I can see this is a really bad idea. There's no time. Scott's life depends on me now. Okay, um, let's turn the wheel here. to open the door. What am I doing wrong? Come on, Erica, think. Think, think, think. Oh yeah, right, I totally forgot. I mentioned this, we have to sort of step onto this. And this is what I really like, you know, um, this does, the game does this really well. John, let me do this. Yeah, also, uh, with the, um, you know, this comic uh, panels here, uh, you know, arranged sort of ar around this wheel that we now have to turn. Because this is a bad idea, you know what's going to happen, right? Uh, let's do it anyways. Also, and I like this mix of... Whoa! It's a trap! Get out of there! Only read blood. Of course. He's watching us. And only my blood will open this door. That's ridiculous. He might not even be here right now. I'm not taking that chance. Step off that crazy thing, now! You stay right there. Whoa, 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 Red! Stay the hell back, John. Eric, think this through. He has my brother in there. My baby brother. I appreciate what you're doing, but step the fuck back because I'm doing this. Okie doke, here goes nothing. But yeah, as I said, I really, uh, you know, it gives this game, like, the, the whole narrative, a uh, certain, like, Erica, intensity that I really I'm dig. Fine. God damn it! Why do you have to be so damn stubborn? Uh oh, should we do it? Should we do it? Ah, dude, this is... Okay, let's... I hope this is the last turn, man, because this is really... America! I'm all right! Don't move! We're going to get this fucker. I promise you. 
yes, at the end of the day, she gets the job done. Yeah, so she's in pain, obviously. But yeah, this is really what I mean. Um, and uh, what I, I was not able to finish earlier is, uh, you know, this like whole female heroine thing, like Nancy Drew type of character that you can see. I think somebody should actually write a um, like a thesis about this kind of shit. I don't know, like a PhD, like a dissertation. Um, yeah, this is like a staple of, you know, lately the, the point and click adventure. I mean, if you look at stuff like, um, I don't know. Uh, the still life series, you know, where you also play like an, an investigator, I think even like an FBI agent, or um, oh, great Scott, yeah, ha, get that, no, but seriously, um, Erica, please get me out of here. Oh, Scott, what has he done to you? <sighs> Classic harpoon trap. Dude, this is easy. You should know this. You're an FBI agent. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to, like, spend too much time here, like, uh, talking to my brother because, uh, again, um, I have to say, like, the beginning of the game is, is pretty, you know, cutscene laden, if you will. Um, so, I, and I try to avoid this, you know, the best, uh, the best I can, actually. And uh, just want to, sh like, show off one more puzzle real quick. Uh, before I actually, um, you know, so like, yeah, you can... Candelabra. It fits his M.O. He likes to decorate everything. As if it's some sort of ritual, it's sick. It's disgusting. Having these so close to the curtains isn't a very good idea. Wait, what's up? Wait, the these curtains? These curtains look pretty old and flimsy. Talk about a fire hazard. Okay, so yeah, probably like some shit is gonna go up in flames here. Uh, in any case, um, yeah, so, you know, adventure, point-and-click adventure games, I'm, I'm telling you nothing new. Um, but, yeah, what I was gonna say, um, you know, as to the, uh, the character, uh, the, the, or protagonist here, um, yeah, if you look at stuff like Still Life, or what, is this is like this, the, the, the Art of Murder series, I think it's called, which is like, sort of like, mediocre to, you know, not so good, uh, adventure games, but also like, uh, something like a Grey Matter, and actually, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Jane Jensen, who is the uh, developer behind Grey Matter, let me just take a look at this real quick. Seems to be connected to the trap. Maybe I can deactivate it from here. Has actually uh, given some input uh, to this game. She is credited as a, uh, I think, a design assistant or assistant designer or something like that. So and it clearly shows. I mean, I really like the story. Uh, it is really engrossing, although I'm sort of skipping through here, uh, more or less. You know. Um, I'm not trained for disabling these. Maybe I can call Terence. He's good with this stuff, and he studied Kane's previous traps. So more or less boldly. Uh, Terrence, okay. What's your I'm going to shut up. In ETA? So we're on route 15 minutes. That's too late. I have one of his traps going off in T minus 10. Um, is it a Scott? Send me a picture. There's no time. See it? Yeah. How the hell am I supposed to know how it was connected? I'm sorry, I, I don't know what else to tell you, Erica. Okay, just hurry. Think, Erica, think. Think, think, think. Erica. I'm figuring this out. <laughs> Hang that, in there. That was kind of funny. So yeah, obviously, uh, how are we supposed to f 
find out, you know, how those uh, wires have been connected. I mean, I can give you a hint, it's right here, but, you know, I'm not going to do this. Um, although there's a pretty interesting scene following this whole, um, uh, yeah, uh, diffusing of the trap uh, uh, scenario here. Um, but in any case, um, let's, um, yeah, um, just like final thoughts on this while, you know, yeah, this is not really the best screen to sort of... Um, end this, I guess. Well, you know, there's nothing that we can do here. Oh, this, by the way, you know, uh, lets you see all the hotspots in the game. I, I totally forgot to mention that, and that obviously brings you back to the menu. But, you know, this is like, uh, yeah, pretty um, standard right now, I think, in, in adventure games. Um, however, th yeah, the story is really engrossing, and I think what the game really does well is mix it up sort of with the perspective, you know, the players that uh, um, not everything is uh, being uh, told by sort of, you know, this typical sort of theater or movie like um, perspective you know actually like you get the first person perspective here then later on like after this scene this is again the first person perspective then later um, you know uh, you get uh, different angles and uh, it sort of uh, you know keeps the tempo up uh, off the game which I actually do like a lot um, so yeah I mean um, I really like this game. I mean, this uh, this part is, is just the beginning, so um, I actually played, you know, uh, through this, which this is sort of serves as the, like, this whole cane killer, uh, serial killer thing is uh, sort of like the frame narrative. It's not a frame narrative, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta get my terminology right. It is actually um, like an overarching narrative, uh, if you will. Uh, you know, and probably, since there's four episodes here, uh, the last of which is actually already named the Kane Killer or something like that. You, you can easily guess that uh, this is going to come back uh, at the end of the whole series. Um, so, um, yeah, let's just... I'm going to try to solve this simply uh, because I got nothing better to do. You know, apart from, like, minor um, disturbances... So you can see here that, you know, he connects this and there's one still unconnected, making this the fifth and this the sixth. Um... Like, you know, it's like the sort of clumsy interface, some graphical glitches, uh, and I think also there are some effects here that, um, sort of... So you know what happened here, right? So this is number, uh, four, then. Is it... This is number four, is it not? Okay. Um, let's check out if we can get further clues by investigating the orange wire. Um, yeah, so the orange is the second, green is the first, which makes the red one the second, so if we have to reverse our order here, and we fortunately have a wire cutter on us, you know, have it on you at all times. So let's cut, I think blue wire was the last one. Let's try to refuse this this um, this thing here. Um, yeah, it's it's a pretty engrossing story. I mean, I, I like it a lot, uh, even though it is nothing new. I mean, uh, so this is also sort of my final verdict here. Um, I mean, the the Phoenix Online Studio people have done a pretty good job with the um, with the yellow, right? With the, um, the this whole King's Quest like silver lining business. And, uh, you know, they now, like, taking the next logical step and making a commercial game. Uh, asking price for this episode alone is 10 bucks. Uh, is it worth it? I think yes. I mean, honestly, I am, I'm having a good time here. Uh, let me just figure out where I have to cut. I think it's the red wire, right? We have plenty of time here. That's okay. Um, if I remember correctly, yes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely having a good time. The whole series, uh, four episodes, is currently going for twenty nine ninety nine, so like thirty bucks, uh, which is okay, I guess. I mean, the production value is high enough. I think now we have to cut the orange wire. Um, so that's cool. And um, yeah, if you live in the UK, I think the the uh, asking price right now is six ninety nine uh, pounds or uh, twenty ninety nine for the whole series. There's a plethora of platforms you know, uh, through which you can get this, um, and I would definitely, uh, recommend, uh, you check them out. I will post them, obviously, in the description, as always. Um, yeah, I mean, for those of you who are definitely, you know, uh, do not 
or are not too fond of the genre of the point and click adventure, yeah, stay away because that's what you would normally do, right? Uh, I mean, for that, it's not really, you know, that much over the top. Uh, but honestly, if you're uh, if you're interested, if you like adventure games, if you're a fan of point and click adventure games. Uh, you should definitely pick it up. Uh, it's worth mentioning, I think, that this game comes with German subtitles. Uh, and this is probably due to the fact that, you know, in Germany there seems to be a pretty huge market for this t sort of games. Sort of, you know, to cater to this audience or to that market, uh, they have included that. So, you know, uh, if you are from Germany and watching this and you think uh, this is for you, do not hesitate because uh, you'll be able to understand what is going on here. Uh, at least I think you will. Um, so definitely thumbs up from me for this one. Um, let me just cut the last wire. And let's examine what's going on now. Yeah, fuck, there's the killer. So yeah, this is like, so you have to act now, if you don't, then this is happening. So yeah, uh, but you know, fear not, because you can simply choose to either retry or quit here, which we're going to do. So then you're presented with the same uh, scene, basically. And, you know, it's it's not even frustrating, so it's like, you know, like I said, uh, the game changes the perspective, uh, you know, which it, it puts yourself into, and I like that. Um, and, you know, although I'm not being uh, frustrating at all, so if we, like, choose to kick, because this is the only thing that we can do, right, um, with a cane killer, oh yeah, he's got the gun, actually, you know, uh, so what are you going to do now, throw the shit on him? Yeah, good job. What the fuck? Great job. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this here. Um, yeah. Candelabra was a good idea, but it worked better if that bastard would go up in flames. Okay. So um, and it actually provides you with a hint as to what you have to do. So again, in summation, highly recommend this, especially for fans of the genre. Um, if you're undecided, if you think that maybe this is for you, definitely pick it up. Um, it even has a demo that we can download, that you can download and play, and uh, the demo is exactly uh, this part that I've showed off here. Um, so, but you know, rest assured that um, after this, you know, the the playstyle is actually, or the the intensity of the whole thing, actually, uh, you know, is kept up. So, um, no worries there. Uh, yeah, definitely a recommendation, um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you know, feel welcome to leave comments or, uh, you know, like this video or even subscribe. I don't have that many subscribers, uh, which is okay, I guess. I'm just doing this for fun, but, you know, it it's always nice to get, like, uh, feedback and, of course, positive feedback. So, um, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it, and I hope to see you on my channel in no time. Alright, thanks.